Okay, this question is asking us to use the factor theorem to determine whether x minus some number is a factor of a function. If it is, then write the function in factored form. Okay, so we're going to be looking at this function and determining whether it says x minus c is a factor. So if, if we have x minus c, then our c value that they've told us is a negative 2. So we're going to be seeing is x plus 2 a factor of this um, polynomial function. Well, let's go back and let's look at the definition again just one more time. The factor theorem says if you've got a polynomial function, then x minus some number is a factor if and only if f of c, if you were to evaluate the function at that number, it equals zero. That's the only way. Because factors end up giving us our x-intercepts, and in an x-intercept, your y value is always zero. Well, we're going to use that. If I were to evaluate this function at that c value, then um, the f of negative 2 would be negative 4 times, oops, times negative 2 cubed plus 5 times negative 2 squared plus 8. Let's just evaluate this and find out what it is. Let's see, negative 2 cubed would be an 8 times negative 4 would be a positive 32. Negative 2 cubed is negative 8, I should say, times negative 4 would be a positive 32. A negative 2 squared would be 4 times 5 would be a plus 20. And then here we have our plus 8. So when we simplify this, we have, what, 52 plus 8 would be 60. So we're talking about a point here where the x value is negative 2, the y value is 60. That's this point, ne um, negative 2 comma 60. That's not an x-intercept. So because negative 2 does not give us an, an x-intercept, then x plus 2 cannot be a factor because factors lead us to x-intercepts. So in this case, no, um, x plus 2 is not a factor.